Hey everybody, Kevin here back with another video uploading finance smiling. So guys, today in this video, as you guys might have seen in the thumbnail, uh, pretty interesting. I saved a lot of money. Um, my music system stopped working. Uh, uh, random, on all of a sudden. I uh, was listening to a nice bass, uh, bassy song. I got really enthusiastic and turned up the volume to its maximum. Suddenly, I, uh, suddenly the music system died on me. It just died. It just died. It just stopped working. So... It was really sad. I had to fix it. I am a kind of person who cannot drive without music. Without Driving without music is like nightmare to me. And yep, uh, so I took it to the mechanic near my place and I told him uh, this is the problem. I Music, I just uh, increased the volume and as soon as I increased the volume, it uh, died on me. He's like, sir, I don't know what the problem is. We have to remove the entire thing. We have to remove the entire thing. We have to check the wiring and all that. I asked him how much would it cost me. He's like, find it bucks off. 500 bucks. I was like, okay, 500 bucks. 500 bucks is like uh, 5 liters of fuel in today's uh, fuel price. So I was like, okay, why Chuma give uh, 500 bucks to him? Uh, let's uh, let's try the internet first. So I started googling online. Uh, I am also in the group, uh, in the Facebook group of uh, the Ford Figo community. So I, I asked them. They were like, uh, bro, uh, check your fuse. Probably it's a fuse blown. Even I was thinking logically. I was like, logically it is possible because as so what happens when you increase the volume? More current passes through your uh, system and your uh, speakers. So what happens when you move? When what, what is the what? Uh, what could be the problem when more current is passing through something and fails? Fuse. Your fuse is something that protects your device from uh, your device or your electronic equipment from failing because of uh, high voltage or high current passing through it. So I was like, okay, let's check the fuse before uh, taking it to the mechanic again tomorrow morning. To my surprise, the fuse is blown. Uh, it's here. So this is my this is my blown fuse. Okay, this is the blown fuse. This is what the car uh, fuse looks like. This is uh, this is called a blade fuse actually. So this is rated at three amps. As you can see, I'll just show it to you. Okay, this is rated for three amps. This is the blown fuse. So I was like, okay, let me let me just uh, try changing the fuse. So uh, I got the fuse from a uh, shop nearby. It cost me 10 bucks. 10 bucks. And uh, <laughs> I sh saw online um, how to change the fuse in my car. Because every particular car has their own, uh, you know, uh, fuse boxes. Some might have two different fuse boxes. Mine has only one in the passenger compartment under the glove box. Some cars have two uh, fuse boxes. One for the uh, cabin electricals and one for the engine electricals. So mine has only one. So yeah, there are some things. So you, you got to check uh, your car's fuse box location, how to change. Changing the fuse is all the same. Uh, but just location is different in all these uh, different manufacturers. So yeah, uh, now let me just show you how I change my fuse. And probably um, uh, even you could to uh, change your fuse for any electrical component failure. And you could save some money. And this is not only for the music system, guys. This, um, this step you should be taking for all the electrical failures in your uh, vehicle before taking it to the mechanic see uh, for example your horn might stop working your ac blower might stop working caution light your hazard lamps the triangle red triangle <laughs> that might that might stop working your uh, console lights might stop working uh, anything any other your uh, your cabin lamps your cabin lamps might stop working your car might not even start so that's the problem your car might not even start all the lights will come up your blower might stop start working everything but your car will not start what does that mean that means your ignition fuse is gone <laughs> see for example you turn the key and you don't see any light whatsoever nothing nothing is working that means your battery is gone okay that means your battery is gone what what if all the lights are on your blower is working fine your headlights are working fine but your car doesn't want to start what happens then? So you have to change your uh, ignition fuse. There is a fuse for every uh, component in your car. Ignition fuse, headlight fuse, horn fuse. I'll just show it in the video. So this step is same for everything. So let's go. So guys, this is the car and uh, this is my glove compartment. All right. See, the fuse com fuse place in my car is here in the glove compartment. Behind the glove, glove compartment actually. So yeah, I'm going to remove it now. Empty. All I have to do is... Pull it out. Pull it out. Alright. And pull the two simultaneously and remove it. Alright. And there is my fuse box. Okay, 
this is my fuse box okay all the fuses are here now everything here from the ignition to the horn everything is here and those small numbers you see oh sorry so the small numbers you see are the amps okay the rating of the fuse all right now we know all the fuses are here but how do we know which is what this is where this comes up see behind my uh, this is my uh, this is my glove compartment box right behind this we have a diagram all right this is the diagram of the fuse ford figo and you can see all the various uh, you know uh, fuses and different things they do different thing, things they you know protect fuse is actually to protect so higher the voltage it breaks off and it uh, you know it it saves the electronic component from uh, you know short circuiting you have ac abs power mirror boot release reserve high beam low beam engine um, lights cabin lights central locking caution lamps abs all those things you have everything so now you have to find the audio one so here we have two audio one is the audio here and there's another one here so how do we check which is what <laughs> so you know what there are two types of audios in your um, fuse compartment one is for your console audio as soon as you turn it off and turn it on you hear sounds in the console you hear that tick 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 yeah that is your console audio all right that is different from your music system audio so this is your console this so that that is your console audio 15 amps so next comes is your audio elimination elimination is the one that i changed that made this work finally all right so you have to check get that checked so i checked it and i found the broken fuse the uh, so this is the blown fuse actually okay this is the blown okay you can see the uh, the thing is cut broken inside see it's broken inside all right it's broken so that's how you find out and this is the 3 amp uh, rating rated 3 amps all right this is how it looks like all right yep so now you are now my music system is actually working fine correct everything is working you know okay now it's working the radio is not tuned so never mind okay now it's turned off now before changing the fuse make sure your vehicle is off okay the key is completely turned and then you have to go down there and the fuse that i showed you now always use a fuse a fuse puller but i don't have a fuse puller now i'm just going to Okay. Right. I just pulled it out. From there, I just pulled it out. This is the fuse. So now, with the good fuse here, I try to turn the key. All right. What happens? But no radio. No radio. Because. the fuse is here you see how clean the interior part it's not blown this is not this is not a blown fuse this is a good fuse that's how you find out if a fuse is blown there will be a cut in between these uh uh two you know whatever they call that the metal piece will be cut in two it's blown so that's how we find out so now since this, this is not working we have to put this back in so i'll just show you now just turn it back off and then go back in and then you put it back in find the right hole yep okay that's fixed in now i'm back turn the keys back on voila okay that is how you change a fuse so guys now that you have seen how to change a fuse uh, make sure you do the initial inspection of a failed uh, electrical component or anything that anything in your vehicle uh, before taking it to your mechanic and showing it to him use your common sense little bit of logic um, things could be as simple as it is so i got it fixed for just 10 bucks guys 10 bucks 10 bucks 
where is 10 bucks where is 400 500 bucks makes a difference right so yeah simple things um if a horn stops stops working your car doesn't start your ac blowers is not, not working the lights are not working please check your fuse pull out the fuse see if it's blown i will i will of course leave a link or a, or a photo here showing how to uh, identify a blown fuse and a good fuse okay check the fuse if it's if the fuse is fine then only you have to take other measures and of course make sure you use the internet go join um, um, uh, owner groups of uh, your vehicle uh, in facebook i will also show you what my uh, uh, group looks like go join groups uh, be a part of the conversation um, put your queries in there they might answer you they might put their queries if you know about it you can answer it too you can be of help and uh, it's really helpful so use the internet wisely use the internet uh, uh, you know put your symptoms in it and check before you are uh, taking it to your mechanic don't panic don't panic nothing to panic nothing to worry all right so thank you very much for watching this video guys uh, till i see you guys next video have fun take care eat well and love you all